Alrighty. Got to play my winner's bracket semifinal match of tournament big money. I think I think the winner of this match is guaranteed to take a, a portion of the prize money. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I do the bracket up. So, winner of this match in advance to semifinals, or I guess the winner's finals is what this is, and in grand finals, it's a, oh, maybe, how does this work? I don't know. I, I think that if I win this, I might be guaranteed to get top three places and win at least 30 bucks. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not great with double elimination brackets. And if I lose this, I'm not out. I'll move down to, let's see, this is match 23. I will play whoever wins between RTT and the winner of the Complain and Brian match. But I like to win this one. It is funny how the brackets lined up. We got uh, two US, two Germany. The Americans are facing off against each other. Um, and the Germans are facing off on the other side. Um, Ma Self and uh, Sam E are representing the US of A right here. And down here we have the Germans and the other half of the bracket. It sounds like there's a little bit of trouble lining up commentary and we got to one last moment. So we're going to hold off on one minute until that commentator arrives. Oh, well there he is, so we'll probably be starting soon. I, it's, it's been a little while since I played the last match. I don't even remember, what's the format? Is this best of, I think it's first one to four wins. And the rules listed. Yeah, best of seven. And this tournament does have a unique rule that if you tie, rather than it being registered as 0.5 each, you just replay the game. Not sure what voice channel is connected, but I should exit that. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> thank you, Sam E, for clarifying my confusion. Yeah, I think it's 120 to first, 50 to second, and 30 to third place. Uh, so if, if I win this, I'm at least guaranteed third place and $30. Pressure's on. pepper keep me full while I'm playing oh shoot they're waiting for me aren't they hey, um <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I thought we were waiting for I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all waiting for me to click the ready button <laughs> I'm sorry everybody hmm. okay what do we got here village Nobles is a weak village. Minstrel is a great village. Draw. Seer and Envoy. Nobles all draw. Uh, trashing. Scrap. Lookout. Remodel. Plus buy. Bridge troll. So this feels like a bridge troll thing. Bridge troll and seer. Bridge troll and seer will play well together for a while. Because with, one bridge, with one bridge troll in play, seer will draw itself as well as bridge troll because they'll cost four now. So I'd really like to get some of those. Eventually, Seer and Bridge Troll will stop being very cooperative. If you get like a bunch of Bridge Trolls and play, everything costs like one, then Seer doesn't draw anything. Might have to watch out for that in like the final turns. But in the short term, what are we doing? Invest is good. I don't know what we're investing, but we're probably gonna use this. 
I mean, we'll probably invest some of the five costs early on just to get some nice draw if they ever get one. So how are we opening? Ah, I don't know. Remodel, scrap, and lookout all seem viable. I think one of them should probably be lookout. To trash the coppers. Scrap and remodel are less good at trashing coppers. And the other one should be scrap or remodel. Uh, so I, I think I can just go ahead and safely click lookout right now. Ah. Uh, I don't know whether I want scrap or remodel though. Oh, he's got five too. Does that affect things? Uh, he'll probably open bridge troll, I think is probably the best move on five two. He might just open with a trasher. Like he might just take scrap nothing or remodel nothing. Uh, I don't think five two is an advantage here. I think, I mean, maybe it's about equal, uh, probably a little bit worse. I think I'm, I got the slightly better start here. Uh, so remodel can get me wandering minstrel which I want. Scrap has the benefit of getting me like horses or something that I also kind of want. I think I like the, uh, this is tough, this is a close call, this is a real close call. I think I like the remodel better, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> I do want minstrels, how am I getting to five? I'll have to get to five eventually. I'll probably get to five by buying like a silver in the next shuffle or two and then buying a bridge troll and we go from there. Mm, this is close. I'm gonna take the scrap. I, I think the scrap just does a better job at getting me to hit five expediently, which is something I'll need to do. Ay, 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 ay. So I can draw here. There's a one seventh chance that drawing sucks. If I draw my lookout, then I'm really sad. But there's like a six seventh chance that drawing is good. I don't know if I take that risk. I'm pretty sure I'll take a horse for sure. I could take a silver and buy three costs, like a second lookout. I could take a coin and just buy a minstrel. I could take a card and buy like a minstrel if I draw copper. I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. What's coming up? I got a bunch of estates down there. I'm probably not gonna buy anything next turn because I have like a hand of lookout and some estates and not hit even three. Uh, maybe I should draw to avoid that problem. If I draw an estate, I'm kind of happy because next turn's less likely to be bad. If I draw a copper, I'm really happy because I can buy something nice for myself. Okay, this this is fine. Um, so. Now I will buy a minstrel, buy an invest, buy a remodel. If I invest, what am I investing? Invest minstrel's not bad. He has to get wandering minstrels at some point, surely. Could just invest in seer and then buy a seer later to get a bonus seer. Likewise with bridge control. I really don't know. Hmm. Do I need a remodel? The pressure's on. The, the fact that there's like 30 bucks on the line is making me want to be extra careful and dot my I's and cross my T's. Hmm. I think we can invest in Minstrel. He has to want to get Minstrels at some point. There's just no way he doesn't. Yeah, especially if you've got a remodel. He'll remodel his estates and surely get some Minstrels off of that. And down here I have a scrap and no estate, so I definitely want to keep the horse around with the hope of drawing an estate to, to trash with the scrap. Perfect. I'll play this first. I think I can trash the copper and discard the estate with the idea of scrapping it later as need be. So I've trashed two coppers now. And there's three coppers here, this estate discarded. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just two coppers. So I can take plus card and gain another horse. Maybe I need to gain like a silver to hit five. I think I might want a single silver. Or actually I can just do card coin now and hit, hit five this turn. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. 
get myself a bridge troll already, or maybe just a seer. That sounds kind of appealing, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So do I take the seer or the bridge troll? <laughs> Probably the bridge troll, I think. Okay, I'm guaranteed to trash a copper because there's two coppers down there and the lookout will see three cards. A little unfortunate that both my scrap and my bridge troll missed, but I still think I'm in the lead. Oh, maybe he gets a minstrel. Take a wandering minstrel, could you please? You know you want one. Please? Minstrel. <laughs> I mean, he could take a scrap or a second remodel or silver or something. But I'd really like it if he drew me some cards. Ah, stingy. Okay. Goodbye, copper. Mm, I'll probably see both. I think I'd rather the scrap on top, because if I don't see the bridge troll, I can potentially draw to it by scrapping the estate. And I think I might take a silver now myself. No, I should take a second lookout. My idea is, with the lookouts, I can trash the coppers real fast, and then if I need silvers, I can scrap the lookouts again and gain a silver off of them. And then I'll be fine. Like so. Oh. Wait, why did I top deck a lookout? I probably shouldn't have done that. No, this is still fine. This is still fine. Um, card action... Trash the copper, play the bridge troll, buy nothing. Okay, maybe a little bit over trash. <laughs> um, I think this is still fine. I'll trash the lookout for silver coin, I think. And then I'll be in a fine spot. Ah, now he gets the one of his troll, and my invested doing nothing. Okay, I deserve that. Um, coin silver. Done. So now do I take one minstrel or remodel? Hmm. I should probably mute myself when I get this bell pepper. I imagine that sound is kind of annoying. I think I need the villagers first. play this lookout first. I think I want to trash the copper, draw the scrap. Actually, maybe it doesn't matter what I draw. I probably don't play the second action card regardless. I still think my position is pretty fine. I think I might have misplayed a little bit that like a turn or two ago. I feel like I did that a little suboptimally. The Seer opening just, I don't know, it just kind of seems a little weird to me. I think 5-2, I mean, like, none of the options look great, but I didn't think I, was, I would open Seer because all it's doing is, like, drawing your estates before you have anything good in your deck. Did you see it turn 3? I think at least not turn 3 and got to draw an estate, but meh. Goodbye, Copper. Oh, I, why did I think I was second? Oh, I already killed my second lookout. Never mind. I guess that's irrelevant then. Okay, so I could act. Hmm. I can scrap this for silver card something, then draw the silver back and net myself a nice thing. Card silver, because I'll draw the minstrel, then I can draw the silver and play the bridge troll. So the question is, what's the other thing that I want? Probably not horse, I don't need the draw, and it could actually get in the way of me drawing that silver. So I think it's just coin then, right? I don't, I don't have enough money to want to buy. Okay. Now I get myself a second bridge troll, I think. And I'm behind the minstrels, I should catch up on that. I 
still think I'm in a fine position there. I'll probably scrap the lookout this turn. I think I have eight copper left, but I can kill it with the scrap if I really need to. So how is this going to escalate? I need to get a seer or two for draw. But I'm up two nothing on bridge trolls, which seems like a good spot. I think I'm also hit on trashing. We both killed all of our estates. There's five coppers left. One of them is mine. Four of them are his. Yeah, so I'm up on bridge trolls, up on trashing. I'm behind on minstrels and seer. So he's got more action and draw. And he's got that remodel. That's actually a little bit of a concern. I should probably get a, a remodel to do some like gain and play stuff. Uh, because actually, you know, uh, what was I gonna say? The while scrap becomes worse with bridge troll around, remodel comes better because I can like turn my coppers straight into bridge trolls or something if I have multiple bridge trolls in play. So maybe I try to get a remodel this turn. I should definitely play the scrap before I play the bridge troll because otherwise lookout will cost one and I'll get fewer benefits from it. So. I have three coins to work with. Everything's going to cost one less than it does now once I play that bridge troll. It means remodel will cost two. And if I take coin, I can buy like two two cost things, like remodel and minstrel maybe. Which sounds kind of nice. So I'll take the coin. Do I need the silver? I probably, I probably do want another silver, don't I? Could just be a horse to make sure I draw everything. Well, my, yeah, I think I might take the horse so I can overdraw, and I can like play the remodel, play whatever I gain off the remodel. I think this sounds good to me. So what's that? What? Oh, he's he's invested in minstrel. Cheeky cheeky. Okay. I think I. Is it that bad if I draw him two cards? Probably not, and I probably need the village, right? If I want to play. This bridge troll, this remodel, and then whatever I gain off the remodel. I have enough villages for that actually. Maybe I don't need to take the remodel yet. Hmm. I think he's pretty likely to draw anyway though, right? Like he's got two seers in there. I think I'm not that concerned about drawing any cards, and I think I kinda want the minstrel. I think. I'll be sad if I just saved his turn and he was going to dud or something. Oh, let me mute this momentarily so I get this bell pepper in peace. All right, I'm back. I did notice that uh, Donald X is spectating. That's pretty cool. Creator of the game. It's always interesting to see when, when he's spectating. It feels very biblical. Creator of the game meets Jacob. Uh, although I think that story ends if we follow the allegory with me wrestling him and losing and getting injured. Alright, Donald, I challenge you to a wrestling match if you ever watch this. Hmm. As for this game that we are in the middle of and losing track of already. He, so he's got a bridge troll. He's not far behind. I, I think I'm in the lead right now, but I don't think he's far behind at all. <laughs> I don't think this order matters too much. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. I'm going to draw all of it. Okay. So I have enough actions to play all three of these uh, and whatever I I get. So do I want to scrap anything, I guess, is a relevant question to ask. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, scrapping the silver at this point could be fine. 
I'll pretty soon have enough bridge fills. I don't need the money, but I'm not quite at that point yet, I don't think. <clears throat> so if I play this bridge fill, I can scrap the copper directly into a four cost. Or remodel the copper, I mean, into a four cost. Actually, it might be better. Mm. No, I was gonna I was gonna consider remodel silver into a bridge troll, play all three bridge trolls. Everything costs three less, but then I have like no money, and I like having more money than that. Hmm. <laughs> he has a bunch of silvers, doesn't he? I'm actually kind of oh no, he's trashed two silvers. Never mind, he's got one silver in his deck. I was what. When I was under the impression he had three silvers, given that I have one here and there's four missing, I was actually seriously considering getting Noble Brigand. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it's probably dumb regardless, but... Actually, maybe the best call here is just remodel scrap into Bridge Troll and play two Bridge Trolls. Then I'll have two money and things will cost two less. That seems fine, right? I think it's cost three less. I could buy me a bridge troll. Yeah, I think I like that, all right? I have to like that. Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Now what do I buy? I can buy a bridge troll, and then I have a bunch of spare buys. So the question is, do I want any of these zero cost cards at all? Like I could buy a bunch of scraps, and if there weren't any bridge trolls in play, that'd be fine because I could like scrap one, scrap to another, scrap, and whatnot. But I don't think that really helps me here, especially with bridge trolls around, because I won't get much out of that. I could buy a bunch of silvers. Oh, maybe the play is actually to buy a seer here and buy some silvers, because that seer can draw the silvers. And then I'll have a bunch of money, and I can remodel the silvers into more bridge trolls if I need to, and then play them. Hmm, I kind of like that, right? Like, just see your three silvers. It feels weird to have a bunch of silvers in a bridge troll game, though, honestly. Like, and, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, oh, shoot, that doesn't work. Because I'll have two bridge trolls left in play. Those silvers will cost one. My seer will not draw those silvers. So that's a no-go. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, how much draw do I need? These are going to be in play. I have one, two, three, four cards here. So I have five draw and four stop cards. I could add a card for nothing. Like I could just add another bridge troll. Then everything will cost one. I do like the idea of having overdraw, though. Like I'd like to play two bridge trolls next. There's, I don't think there's any way for me to do that. One, two, three, four cards. If I had bridge troll, it's a fifth card. Yeah, I can't I can't gain and play next turn if I buy bridge troll. Hmm. But I still want a bridge troll, right? My options are bridge troll, I think. Or seer. If I do the seer, I could like gain and play a bridge troll mid turn. I think I just want to stay on top of these. Maybe I take one more silver? Because things won't quite cost zero yet. Uh, no, this is like exactly the right amount, right? Because I have five stop cards. Silver, copper, remodel, bridge troll, bridge troll. So I think I don't take any additional stuff. Unless it draws, which none of these do. What's down there? Remodel. And two minstrels. So I'm guaranteed to draw everything. Although if I draw the remodel, I can't play it. If I draw a minstrel, then remodel, I can consider playing it, and probably will.
no longer has anything exiled, nor do I. Okay, I'll leave the minstrel on top and draw the remodel. Play these two first. And everything costs very little. So I think now I probably just take two bridge trolls and then so that would be one remodel for bridge troll, one buy for bridge troll. Then I'd have no money left and so I could buy like two more minstrels and an envoy or something. Three more minstrels and an envoy, or two more minstrels and two envoys. Ah, I feel like that's probably winning, right? That feels like it's winning. That's gotta be winning. The other option could be, I'm, de I'm, just, I'm definitely doing this. There's no question I'm doing this. I could remodel this into like nobles, so I have points, and then only take one bridge troll. I think I'd rather just deny him the bridge trolls though. Uh, if I have six and he has four, he's in a worse spot. Can he pile up? So, I have four bridge trolls right now. I'll have six eventually. He would have the ability to remodel under bridge troll, play the bridge trolls for five buys, remodel something else. So that's like six non-bridge troll gains. I think I could easily avoid that pile up still. So assume that pile is empty. I can leave, yeah, there's not a third pile. Like these, these will run, but I don't see it, how he empties the third pile. I mean, I don't, like he doesn't have enough to like gain and play remodels repeatedly. So now I have, hmm, <laughs> I have two bridge trolls coming out of play. I have two bridge trolls I just gained. That's four total terminal action cards. The fifth was remodel, and I have three minstrels right now. So I can't quite play that all. But, um, I don't really need to play the remodel, but I might want to. So I need at least one more and then like one to support the envoy draw. And then I can like take two envoys. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I take this, this minstrel. He, so assuming he gets three bridge trolls in play, remodels for a bridge troll, plays that. And yeah, he doesn't have a scrap. He did have a second remodel. Hmm. If he plays that, he'll have five buys. Yeah, I don't think he can do seven estates or anything. I think he's like too short. So, I think I can safely take this. Pretty sure I can safely take this. No piles I'm overlooking. Yeah, I can take this. I'm gonna meet myself again to eat some more bell pepper. I'm worried that maybe he can do like some limited remodel remodel stuff. Maybe I got a little too greedy there. I, I should count it. But I'm worried that he like remodels and remodel a little bit and then buys the last few remodels and buys an estate. Uh, maybe I should have left one minstrel. One, one minstrel more. I, did I really need that last one? Aye, aye, aye. He has played both of his seers though. 
Uh, Does he have any actions to support all that, though? Hmm, we'll find out. Oh, he's already trashing a remodel. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he has a win. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a win. If he's trashing his remodel, he's not going for it. My worry was, like, remodels something into bridge troll, draws and plays the bridge troll, then he has four, five buys, then he, like, remodels something else into remodel, draws that, remodels and remodel, etc., and then lowers it down so that there's, like, minstrel, like, three remodels, and he buys, like, those in his deck. But I don't think he has enough draw or actions to do all that. But you gotta be careful, because, you know, I don't think he's gonna win if the game goes long. His deck's kind of against the wall, so he'd definitely try that, I think, if he could. Even if it was uncertain. And you don't want to give him the possibility. I think I just win this turn, most likely. I'm not sure what he buys here. Like, if he doesn't take that last bridge troll, I'll just remodel for it. And then I'll get, like, seven bridge trolls in play. And that, that has to be enough to win somehow. Like, a likely scenario is maybe I'm a buyer too short for a piling out. But I just empty, like, seven duchies and then have five bridge trolls in play. And then I can buy the, the next duchy, even if I completely dud next turn, because I'll have uh, the, the duchy battle that costs zero. Yeah, uh, I think if I get this turn, I win, and it looks like I will, because there's no way he can pile out here. I'm not even sure what he takes, honestly. This just seems like resignable to me. Maybe he has to pray that I dud. I don't think that's possible because I left a minstrel on top, which I'm not sure if he could have known that, but I assume his strategy has to be playing for like me to completely dud, which I would think involves buying the last bridge troll on minstrel maybe, and then giving himself enough to pile out a stage next turn if I flop, which I'm not going to. Like this minstrel is going to see four cards, and at our minimum. There's no way I don't find one of my two envoys um, between these two minstrels. Because I have like, what, one silver left? Even if that's somewhere in the top, it'll likely just get discarded by the minstrel. He's taking golds. That's, that's actually kind of interesting. So with bridge trolls, you know, normally with seer, you want silvers more than golds, because the seer can draw the silvers, but it can't draw the golds. With Bridge Troll around, you can actually use Seer plus Gold as a nice little combo. As long as you have two Bridge Trolls in play, Gold will be within the range, cost-wise, that Seer can draw. Yeah, there's an Envoy. I think I win now. Not sure what he denies me here, but I don't think it matters. I'll draw it all. Presumably Envoy, I guess? Re remodel, maybe, would be smart? Uh, yeah, actually, denying me remodel is probably the most annoying, I think. Actually, no, I, don't, I don't think any of it really matters. I think, I think any, any way around, this team is totally winning. What's that bottom card? Bridge Troll? Yeah. Can I play the Envoy now? Do I need to draw everything? Yeah, I mean, I should probably draw everything. Actually, hmm. so I've got three bridge trolls, four bridge trolls to play, All right? And then I'd like to play the remodel. That's five. I might want to play this bridge troll. It's like six. I've got two actions, three, four, five. Maybe I should avoid playing the envoy, so I have enough actions to do all that. Yeah, actually. I cannot both draw and play this bridge troll. Because if I remodel silver for it and draw it, then I'll have four actions left and five bridge trolls. So the most bridge trolls I can get in play this turn is, well, six total. Four, four played this turn. I don't know. Can I pile out anyway, though? I'm 
play five cards, which will probably be four bridge trolls and a remodel. So I have three buys, four, five, six, seven. I'll have seven buys, eight gains. I so hmm, what will everything cost? Everything will cost six less. So I can then Robin will cost like two, everything else will cost like nothing. Hmm. I should be a little careful I don't give him a win, because he does have like four bridge trolls and a bunch of money. So he can buy a bunch of provinces pretty easily if I mess up. Hmm. Let's double check. Six bridge trolls, so seven buys. Eight would remodel. I can't do any gain and play stuff with remodel because I won't have enough actions to do that. So that's eight gains exactly. And one, two. There is no pile at six. So I, I, I definitely cannot win this turn. But I should be able to set it up such that I win the following turn. What's he threatening to do? Can he do five provinces? I don't think he can realistically do five provinces. I could remodel the silver into a province and then just like buy a bunch of nobles. Right? Yeah, that's a thing. Because if I... Wait, yeah. Wait, if I play minstrel, four bridge trolls, Province costs two now. I could remodel silver into province. And then, how many gains does he have? He still has his two remodels. And he has, a one, he has four minstrels. So he can play two remodels and two bridge trolls conceivably. Um, hmm. How many points can he score? He has three golds in there, and provinces for him will cost four each. I don't think he can afford to buy five provinces. So I think I sh should just take some points here. And now, I could just buy like seven duchies, like I said I was going to. Then, by a province and seven duchies, to beat that, he would have to take four provinces, the duchy, those last two cards. Uh, that would just be a tie, so four, five, six, seven. I don't think he can do seven gains realistically, right? Well, he has five buys and two remodels, so kind of technically. So maybe I just, I split the difference between duchies and nobles. And then he's got a hard time winning. Like if I take like four, no well... Yes, if I, if I did like four duchies, four nobles or something. Then he could do four duchies from shelf and a province. And then he would also have to do minced one. Hmm. Should be real careful here. I don't want to leave a way to lose this. Maybe the answer is that I don't really load piles much at all. He doesn't have enough gains to, to pile out, does he? Right? We said he has like seven gains. Four bridge trolls, best case scenario. I could also just deny that bridge troll, honestly. Maybe I should just take that last bridge troll. Because um, I can play it easily next turn. And it's not really counting against him because he could gain and play it. So I should, I'll take maybe take that. 
and then take a few noble sword points. If he took seven nobles, that would be worth 14 points. Can he do minstrel seven nobles? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. So I could like take a few duchies just in case, maybe. Can I take that? That's 12. I can take one duchy. Then he can't pile with minstrel six nobles. And he can't pile with, can he do minstrel seven duchies? I'm pretty sure that's nowhere near possible, right? Like he'll have three bridge trolls, which is four buys and two remodels. Yeah, I don't think he can do minstrel and seven duchies. Four buys, two remodels, he would have to get eight gains and he just doesn't have that. And so now I could, does taking Seers help me? It doesn't hurt me. But it can potentially draw nobles next turn. So I can lower that. And I can take a farmland. Does that help? It might hurt my chances of drawing. It gives me a province. Maybe I should do that. Okay, yeah, I think I win now. I don't think he can beat 21 points and pile out. And I've got a minstrel and envoy in hand. I, I really was very unsure exactly what to take there. I'm pretty sure a lot of things were winning. But I'm not sure what the best was. He just takes three provinces, I guess, and hopes I did. Which I don't think I should. I got four already right there. It's kind of cute that my seer could draw a province theoretically if I played it. Mm. I think I want these in hand a lot, so I'll play these before playing the envoy. Maybe I want the bridge troll more. And I think this should be enough to win. Or, no, he didn't have me remodel, interesting. Okay. Looks like it doesn't matter. Uh, plays for actions. And now, one, two, three, eight buys, that'll cost zero, so that should be a win. Here we go. All right, game one under a belt. <laughs> And I had the better start. Like, I don't think that was me outplaying him or anything. I think I just got the better beginning and kept it. Now, winning as player two, that will be the real thing to do. Well, this looks like a, a lovely, nice kingdom. Well, there is a, there's Ambassador and Margrave, which are both attacks, <laughs> but there's Guardian and Lighthouse to block them. So the attacks won't be that strong. We've got Margrave, Shepherd, Courtyard, All Draw, Hostelry, Minstrel, Acting Troop, Actions. Plus Buy comes from Margrave or Courtier, Trashing, Ambassador. I wonder if you just don't bother Trashing estates. This is always a, a dilemma I have with Shepherd. I feel like I used to always trash these states, and now I seldom trash these states. But I'm not sure when and whether to do that. 
So, I mean, the long-term plan seems clear enough. Minstrels, hostelries, margrave, courtier, draw, lots of stuff. I don't know whether that plan includes keeping the shepherd. The fact that salt the earth is around means maybe it could. And I, th I think we, we can keep the estates around. They're worth a decent number of points. And they can be draw with shepherd. The courtyard can maybe be useful for like top decking a shepherd for the following turn or something. So we get ambassador. Opening like shepherd ambassador seems a little awkward if I don't plan to trash the estates. Because then I'll be getting rid of a bunch of my coppers and have like no payload. Could be like shepherd silver into margrave. Maybe lighthouse is just better in that case. Lighthouse is basically like a silver, but it'll block ambassador if that's what he gets. It's a little worth it hitting five, though. Hmm. And I wanted to get the ambassador eventually to trash the coppers. I, no, I should, I should get this. I should get this anyway. Not a lovely hand. In fact, quite a bad hand. His hand's not amazing though either, I think. Like, worst case scenario would be him finding Shepherd turn three, drawing to his ambassador, playing that, having two left, buying a lighthouse, or actually a guardian would probably be smart thing for him to buy. And then I would be in trouble. He found his ambassador, but a guardian but I don't have and my ambassador jokes on you my hand is worse than you thought it was he now the problem is so he had ambassador three coppers so he probably has shelter and hella estates and pasture in that hand so there's a real risk he just draws back to his ambassador I think I have to buy guardian to protect against that ah <laughs> oh no Shepherd, you are the worst. <laughs> Where are my estates at? Okay, so th this this is my my comeuppance for last game. I got the real nice start last game, player one. Now I get the really awful start as uh, player two to to counterbalance that. And I have to take a second guardian. I mean, lighthouse is better than guardian because they're both like non-terminal block attacks. But lighthouse gives you plus coin now and the next turn. Guardian only gives it the next turn. So this is like copper version of lighthouse so lighthouse is like silver version of lighthouse uh but the benefit of guardian is you get the effect immediately which in this case seemed pretty important hmm so i he played a guardian so whether i attack him with ambassador doesn't matter question is do i return these coppers to keep my deck thin to which the answer is probably the argument against it is I could buy a five cost if I wanted to. Let's see. I have returned two coppers. And I've gained a copper. So I have like six left. All right. Five coppers plus a pastor. If I return two, I'll have four left and I'll have the guardian. So if I draw everything, I could buy a five cost next turn anyway. And what do I take? It could be a lighthouse for economy. I don't need acting troop yet. I don't. I can't play courtyard yet because I don't have villages. I think I'll just take the lighthouse. This isn't that bad. I'm not, like I'm not gonna draw, but I'm gonna be able to buy a five cost because four plus guardian, and I'll get a guardian play. And I probably have Shepherd and a bunch of states down here for next turn. So I think I'm probably still fine. I'll be really sad if next turn my Shepherd's in the bottom. But what will likely happen is I'll have my Shepherd on top and be able to discard at least two estates. I think I'm still in a fine spot. So. Margrave first, Courtier first. Margrave first seems a I mean, it's basically like buying a smithy but it comes with plus buy the attack doesn't matter because he'll have guardians in play 
Hmm. I could, like, I could undo this and buy a hostelry, which gives me a village and a horse. I could buy a courtier. Are there any three type cards? Caster. Ooh. I'm going to take a courtier. I would love to be able to reveal pasture to courtier. So ideal hand would have involved uh, ambassador lighthouse being on bottom, so I could discard three cards to shepherd and draw six. I still have to draw four here, which seems pretty good. And I don't find my pasture. It's hiding down there somewhere. But this is still all right. So I can take a gold. I'm definitely taking plus action because I want to play with ambassador. Get rid of that copper. Basically, I, I could take a gold and buy a two cost, or I could take three coins and buy a four or five cost. Don't know which of those is more important to me. I'm about to kind of dead next turn, right? Yeah, down here is two estates, a pasture, and I think the rest is just copper. So that's gross. But there's no way for me to fix that. I can't top deck anything. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I can really justify the the gold right now. So I'm not drawing. I can buy a court here to fix that problem, but then I can't play my ambassador. I think I'm just gonna take the money. So I can get the gold later if I'm drawing well. If I need to get draw first. That probably starts with Minstrel first, and then Margrave. I could take the Margrave now. Minstrel seems good though, right? Yeah, I like the Minstrel. A little bit of a sad hand here. Okay, I think I'm behind. He's drawn real well. And while well, I'm protected this turn, I don't have a guardian or anything. Yeah, this is a little unfortunate. Um, so I, I, I probably have to buy a guardian this turn, don't I? Uh, or I get, I mean, I get attacked, which sucks a lot, but I could just buy Margrave now. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Well, fortunately for me, this hand sucked anyway, so it doesn't matter if I have to discard a bunch of cards from it. <laughs> um, gotta find the silver linings and things. I think I'm shaping up to lose this game, though. Yeah, yeah. Where did this go wrong? I guess it's just marginally worth shuffles in like turn three, turn four ish area. Like we're mostly doing the same stuff. Maybe I could have picked up an acting troop earlier. I don't know when I would have done that. I'll take me a courtyard for draw. This will be a good turn, at the very least. But I think I'm at least like a turn behind. He hasn't taken a gold yet, though. So he sent back a copper and gave me a copper. So he's down one and I'm up one. I sent back two, and he gained one. So he would be neutral, and I'd be down one. Then he sent back one. So now we're both down one copper. Then I sent back two, so I'm down three coppers. He sends back two, down three coppers. 
Um, so now I'm down four. He's up. He's down two. Okay, so he, he has slightly fewer compass than I do. We're, we're kind of similarly trashed, though. <laughs> Actually, I wonder. Maybe I should just. No, I should draw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I was. I want to draw one to find the pasture, but I can't. I definitely can't draw to the pasture. So I could draw the rest of this. Or I could say it's probably like two estates and a bunch of compass. No, I, I gotta draw. I gotta draw. I need to get rid of some of these compass, I think. Um, I really want to line up courtier and pasture, but that's not happening yet. So now I've still got the same dilemma of I could take a gold and a two cost, or I could just take money. I think I might just take the money. I still, I'm still not quite drawing yet, so I'd rather draw on. I think I might end up playing the courtyard over the ambassador because I've got three bad cards on top, and I'd like to reduce that to one bad card on top. So maybe just action coins. Now I top deck an estate to hopefully draw with Shepherd. And now I can buy hostelry for action and then maybe get some horses for draw. I could also just buy like Margrave Acting Troop or something. That's how he's drawing. Hostelry, courtyard, horses, Margrave, acting troop. Hmm. I don't know. I think this one's probably better in the short term. I do want to get at least one acting troop though. Having some villages around is a nice safety in case I only have terminal draw cards in my starting hand. Uh, he lines up courtier and pasture. Yeah, he's gonna be ahead. I'll get to draw that gold. The problem is like, like I, I want to have the pasture in my hand, but I also kind of need to discard it to draw the I think I have to discard it here, even if it makes my court here slightly weaker, because I can't risk having a dead turn. And then hopefully if I kick off, I can draw back around to it, maybe. I'm behind, but I don't think I'm out of this. I'm like a turn behind, so maybe if he has a bad dud, which is kind of unlikely because he's already got villagers to guard against that, then maybe I can come back. Is that really? <laughs> oh, you. There's that's my pasture right there. That is really frustrating. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I had a fifty-fifty shot, so it's not that unlikely. But I'll have to use this horse now. Draw to that. So at least I can do action coins and gold now. Done choosing. And I can draw the gold, or I can get rid of two coppers. I think I have to do the more risky play rather than the safer play, which would be drawing the gold. Like the, getting rid of the coppers makes me less likely to dud, but I'm a little bit behind. 
this means I can add more to my deck, even if it comes at the cost of potentially dudding. I get to do courtyard or courtier hostelry, I think works. That's the high risk play. Like if I draw everything, I can get a bunch of payload. Whereas something like Margrave Hostelry makes me more likely to draw consistently. Yeah, I'm gonna take the gamble. Alright, that's not a bad starting hand. I can deal with that. I still the problem is like I want to make room to find an acting troop so that I can have a, like that safety of like what if I didn't draw this minstrel and have just a Margrave. But also if I don't like pay, play greedy and buy lots of high value cards, like the courtiers and stuff. If we both don't dud, I just fall very behind in that scenario. And so I think my way to win, at least in the short term, is just to try to keep up with the economy even if it comes to the risk of totally dunning. I think I just have to take that risk, because if I don't, I'll fall behind inevitably and lose. Yeah, his deck's still doing a bit more than mine is. It's one more gold. Still a villager. But I, I still think I'm very much in this. Well, he does have a second shepherd as well. I would love to get me a second shepherd and maybe start adding estates. Nice way to score a little bit without really hurting your deck. Yeah, like, the issue is if, if I played safe, I'd have to be hoping that he does. And I think you know, he's got the villager, he's got the extra shepherds, he seems much less likely to dud. Oof, where's my villager set? Uh, needed to find one of my hostelries, I guess. Yeah, so now I'm probably just lost. <laughs> this is not <laughs> not an ideal hand. So at least I can take all of these. I'll put the courtyard back on. Well, I have a shepherd down there, right? Maybe I just put the estate back on top. That's better. How do I take Hostelry Courtyard? Shepherd Estate. Well, Shepherd Estate would make a lot of sense with the copies. Hostelry Courtyard gets me a ton of horses. I could do Minstrel Margrave. I do kind of really want those villages, though. Acting Troop. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm losing. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'll just do that. Ay, ay, ay. Very unsure. Okay, so. Oh, is he dudding? Or maybe no, maybe he's just doing the court here before the pasture so he can play his shepherd and discard the pasture. That wouldn't surprise me very much. Yeah. I was hoping it was a sign he dudded. I'd love it if he dudded. But I didn't think he was gonna dud. I believe. So I played Sam E not this season, but last season of the league in the uh, Division B1. And it was, you know, the two of us were fighting for the, for the top spot. And I, I, I nearly eked it out in the end. But I think when we played head-to-head, -head, we were 3-3, three, three, I think. I forget. Um, I think that's the last, maybe the only time I played him. I don't remember any other particular time.
Yeah, this looks bad. Like, he's, he's got a lead, and so he can just keep adding a lot of cards that will make him very consistent, like extra acting troops, extra draw, whatever. Scoring a little bit here and there with these states, which doesn't really hurt his deck with the amount of shepherds he has. And it, it all spells trouble for me. I think I should play... I could, and I definitely don't play this court here. I don't even have a two-type card, let alone a three-type. I should play this hostelry before playing the shepherd, so these estates don't go into that shuffle. Okay. There's a horse. There's an acting troop. Uh, what's down there? Get copper on three estates. I think I can safely draw into that. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I could add at least one gold to that. I could add two golds and just top deck an estate for next turn. Yeah, that's probably fine. So I'll play both of these now. Do I want to spend a villager to get an extra buy? If I drew two golds and return two coppers, I'd have eight, nine, plus the two golds would be 15. Copper, 16. How many buys would I want in that case? Probably just three buys. Could be an argument for wanting four buys, but four buys would cost me another villager. The concern is, since I'm, like, I'm doing this, I could do action, coin, gold, and then draw all that. But then I only have two buys. And the other option is like buy coins gold and then I run out of actions. But I could spend some villagers to get that buy. I think I need to do that at least once. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not counting for the three coins. I'm, I'm actually doing this twice. I'm gonna spend two villagers to be able to, to do that. So I'm choosing I will top deck a state, return two coppers. And this is looking all right ish. I should probably undo that and consider whether I want to get some horses for next turn. <sighs> With four buys. Yeah, probably. Probably. I score like he's just gonna keep whittling away at that estate pile I think I, I'm pretty sure I want another Margrave because the buy is also valuable in addition to the draw we just saw that here buy the Margrave I have 15 left do I want a second Shepherd I'm not sure I'm not sure I can afford to add a second Shepherd right now but maybe hmm Do I want to add province? Hmm. That does seem a little risky, doesn't it? I could buy commerce and just shove a ton of gold to my deck. Like, how many cards did I gain? So far I've gained a gold, right? I could buy like hostelry, gain horse, but that's gold, hostelry, horse. Then I could buy two more unique cards, like Margrave Minstrel or Margrave Shepherd or whatever. And then that'd be five unique cards, and I could buy Commerce and have five golds on my deck, and I would have very much money. But that seems probably too greedy, right? Because I'm getting tons of golds off of the courtiers already. I don't think I can justify that to myself. I would just likely fail to draw it all. I think I want the horses enough to do this. I'd say I definitely want the Margrave. Province acting troop. Uh, 
I'm not, I might still, I feel like I kind of need to keep building. My deck's not that reliable. I did just get rid of two coppers, though, with the Ambassador. Yeah, I can't hold too far behind. What's the other option? That's another Margrave. I do have more gold than he does. 42. Maybe I do just keep building. Like Minstrel Margrave or something. I kind of like that. I like having a lot of buys because I can like take a bunch of estates or something. A lot of this stuff is cheap. Minstrel Margrave. Not a great starting hand. Rip. I I tried. I was considering lines where I bought a bunch of gold. I was considering lines where I scored. And I said to myself, Jacob, there's no way. You gotta play it safer. You're not gonna draw all that. And I bought myself two more villages and two more draw cards. And this is the thanks I get. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes life just likes to kick you while you're down. But we shall overcome. We probably shan't overcome. But maybe. <laughs> Donald has forsaken me. Clearly that's the difference. Donald was watching, I won. Donald leaves, I lose. That's what I'm going to chalk this up to. All right, we, we still got a chance. Draw card? All right, all right, this is going, this is going places. Uh, I want, so the, the reason I'm drawing the hostry first and the horse first is to maximize search space. If I drew the courtyard first, Drew three cards, including hostelry. I have to top deck a card, and that hostelry would draw whatever I top decked. So I'd only see three cards. If I play hostelry, then courtyard, I draw potentially four cards. And so that fourth card could be like a Margrave or something, and I could just draw on. And so I want the courtyard to be the last draw card I play, if possible, which isn't because I'm just drawing more draw cards. But basically, just to maximize the chance, I. Oh, actually, let me undo that. I'm definitely discarding this pasture. So let's just get these in now. I can't afford to slack on the golds because really the, my only chance in this game is that I have more golds right now. And maybe I can make use of that payload. Okay, can I afford to top deck? Oh. It doesn't matter. So there's a question of how badly do I need this plus buy? I would like to just leave this Margrave on top to maximize my chance of drawing next turn. But if I draw and I find two more golds, that sounds really good. It's a lot of extra money. And as usual, I should undo that and consider whether I want to discard the pasture for a horse, which I might. He has a lot of points, but I have a lot of money. So I'd like to buy like five-ish provinces over two turns. I think what I want to do this turn, probably, is buy like two provinces and give myself enough money to threaten to quadruple province. Actually, I already have that. So I've got 27 in hand, and I can gain two more golds next turn which will bring up to 33, which is enough to buy four provinces. So if I lower provinces by two, I'm already threatening for sure to uh, empty provinces. So I'm gonna take that, and the rest of my buys should just be things that increase my chance of drawing. And what does that look like? Could be like hostelry, ghetto horse, shepherd, courtyard. Could be two margraves. I think the hostelry, courtyard, shepherd thing sounds more reliable. I 
I hope he, I don't think he can hit 32. This is not a mad starting hand. I like this. All right. Things are turning around. We're coming back here. Hmm. And now we wait. Yeah. So what's what's happening? I got, I feel like I got a shot now. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how great that shot is, but I've got a shot. No, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he did two provinces last turn, so he can definitely do three provinces this turn if he draws, which he probably will. Can I beat three provinces? That's a good question. I, maybe I should have thought. I should have thought about that. I should have asked. You know, I, I left myself up enough for four provinces, but do I have enough to beat triple provinces? Because that might take more money than four provinces. If he takes three provinces, then I need to outscore three provinces plus a four-point deficit, which would mean. I would take the last province, so that's two provinces and four points to beat. Uh, do I have enough buys to do all that? Maybe I should have had another Margrave to make it easier for me to take estates. Because with pasture around, estates are worth two points, and buying estates is a more efficient source of points than duchy, but it's more constrained by number of buys. And so I might have just left myself not quite enough money or buys to beat that. Because I take the province, two provinces and four points, I have to buy like six duchies, right? Or five duchies in an estate. Do I have enough buys for that? One, two, three, four, five, six buys. I have. Well, I'm, ah, yeah. I think I might have wanted to. I I think I should have added another Margaret. I th I think I should have thought through that a little bit more. I don't think I have enough buys now. If he just triple provinces, that was. Yeah, this is bad. I should have, like, this was good for ensuring I drew, but I was a little too fixated on, oh, forget all that, forget all that. I, I've lost anyway. Yeah, yet another thing I failed to consider was Salt the Earth. He's just going to quad salt and win. Uh, I also overlooked that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I've lost. Um, that, I mean, I was player two. We had weak opening draws. I mean, I, I, I misplayed this in game, I think. I think this is probably not the ideal set of buys but um i'm not i'm not sure if there was a winning play there but i definitely did not calculate that out correctly i i overlooked salt entirely i also overlooked triple province i was too focused on can i threaten win next turn and uh successfully did that at the cost of the game it's possible maybe if i had a different sequence of events i could have won but yeah, that double province buy, I think, was probably bad. Um, I mean, then again, if I don't score, if I don't take two provinces, then I'm behind in points and everything else. Um, I think I was just probably losing regardless, um, even if I hadn't misplayed. So I see procession and horses, so I think I know what we're doing. The question is how we get there. 5-2 here looks super winning. A lot of amazing fives. No good fours yet. So, procession plus horse is just phenomenal. You procession horse, you get more processions at all. Like, you then process more horses and so forth. It, it'll go crazy. So the goal here is to play livery, play procession. Things will happen. We'll win somehow. How do you get there? Probably just double silver, I think. Looks clear enough to me. Okay, good. He doesn't have five two. If he if he had five two, he'd just lose. Uh, uh, four is not the number I like to see. I wonder if I just buy procession already. It feels a little early. Like I don't, I'm not even sure my first five is gonna be livery. It might just be like a trash or like century or upgrade. Do I even want more silvers? I probably want another silver, right? Like there's no plus buy around. I don't really need a lot of money. Like I need money in the short term to just hit five and then everything explodes. But in the long term, I don't really need a lot of money. I want a thin deck. Buying dismantle, like I'm dismantle coffers. I don't want to dismantle estates. I don't want golds. But maybe dismantle is better than nothing. Could buy a vagrant even. Maybe would be really sad if I hit four twice. If I hit four twice with a double silver opening, it's not that unlikely, but it it's losing. <laughs> it's real losing in this kingdom. Hitting five is just like the absolute most important thing. <sighs> uh, 
Vagrant. I think the answer is I don't want more silvers. Uh, is Vagrant better than nothing? Is Dismantle better than nothing? Yeah, Dismantle will help me trash coffers. Even if it's kind of awkward. But it makes me harder to hit five. I think I'm gonna do it. I can process it and get a five out of it. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, yeah, he got sentry, I got hosed. <sighs> this is unfortunate. This is a very unfortunate game for a player one to have. I guess that's why procession and hope to line those up. This is better. Sentry or upgrade? I mean, sentry would clearly be better. It's like turn three here. Is, is like what he's got but I'm starting to add enough cards to my deck that it might not even trash me two cards and so maybe the upgrade has more value to me I'm not sure I'll take sentry eh procession you were supposed to line up for the dismantle I mean it, it was a gamble putting putting procession and dismantle in the deck was far from it at all a guarantee I was going to find them both in the same hand. Uh, but after hitting double four, I, I wanted to take a gamble. Okay, so I'll just trash the copper and buy a Vagrant. Hey, this is better. Uh, I was, at least I get to play this. Trash, nice, nice. Things going well. Trash again. Buy another Vagrant. Probably livery now, I think. Are his turns going since then? Oh, he got, interesting. So he took a gold. Very interesting. And his sentry missed. All right, we're back in this. We're back in this. His sentry missed the shuffle. And I, I don't. I'm not convinced that that dismantle play was a good play. So I'm actually kind of happy with my spot now. Is it livery time yet? I think it's probably livery time now. He took upgrade first. I, I could do upgrade before doing the livery thing. Just to try to stay thin. I really want horses though. I want to get horses in my deck as fast as possible. He has two dismantles. Yeah, he bought two dismantles. Okay. Which? No, not which. Livery upgrade, I think, are the two answers. Delivery. I, I gotta get it in my deck at some point. This is not where I wanted to see procession, but at least I hit five. <laughs> One livery is probably enough for me for now, so now I can have the upgrade if I want. trash this dismantle now. I don't really need it that badly. I'd rather have a five in my deck. The other option could just be trashing a copper. No, actually, let's trash this silver into second procession. That sounds good. That sounds really good. And buy a second upgrade. Second century. Like the upgrade idea. And I, I kind of knew this was going to happen. I triggered that shuffle, but I felt like I had to. I had to play the sentry. I wanted to trash things. But it, this was the, the consequence that I brought. Was I knew I had a bunch of bad cards coming up. This was not like unfortunate luck. This was very likely to occur. Could have maybe been avoided if I drew the procession. And why the I still had a bad hand. Yeah, it, this was kind of inevitable. another vagrant hope for a better draw all right i see a horse i see a procession i think it's time to do things not quite at the point where it's going to like send them out of control yet but it's looking good when did he get that lost city totally okay way back when. i don't remember drawing but i must have 
sentry person, I guess. Ooh, hello. This looks really good. I have not discarded anything. So we're going to procession, procession, livery. Get me some horses. Get me some more processions. And I got a five cost card, probably just an upgrade. I want more processions. Uh, <laughs> probably just trash two coppers here. Could trash the dismantle to get a five and two more horses. That's also really good. Which one's more likely to kick off? So my options are I can just buy a five. Or I could dismantle. So I, I get a five and two horses either way. I could have an extra five and an extra two horses at the cost of having two more coppers and one less dismantle. So five two horses and and two coppers or dismantle. Five cost two horses, two coppers, or dismantle. I think I always want to trash. I think I'm way ahead if I kick off next turn. He hasn't even gotten his processions yet, I don't think. And so just keeping thin seems like the best way to make sure I don't dud. And I buy, I don't know what I buy. Just another procession, probably. Could have bought fleet, even. I should buy fleet very soon. Because these piles are going to run like crazy. We're going to pile up processions, we're going to pile up upgrades, maybe hirelings even. Could also pile up curses maybe with witch. I think, I don't I don't get what his strategy was. I think maybe he just didn't appreciate this livery procession combo or something. Because like he's just not getting his livery, he didn't get early processions. I feel like he's just playing towards something else that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I want to find a procession if I can, there's one. Okay. Time to go wild. I want a livery now. Um, yeah, let's just keep processing things into more processions. Process delivery. <laughs> Keep lowering piles. What's the third pile going to be? Not really sure. Could be fairgrounds, maybe? I don't have quite enough upgrades to do that. I'm definitely going to win. Uh, I don't think I have a win yet this turn, but I can just like easily buy fleet and pile up next turn. I wonder if there's a world where I get the upgrades and just upgrade a bunch of horses into dismantles. Is that a thing I can do? Let's try it. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just like 
buy a bunch of or buy a fleet and pilot next turn. But I think I might have the dismantle pilot this turn. Looks like it should be it, right? Yeah, like this, this is the whole process, procession of livery goes. It's just you you line those things up and then you click a bunch and the wind shows up somehow. I don't really have a specific plan beyond play procession and play horse, but that's really more of a plan than you need. Right, there's three piles, I just need to buy points and score. I don't know why he didn't aim towards that. I think I, it feels like he overlooked procession livery. Maybe he was just planning to build more indirectly towards it, but like you can usually go more or less head on at it and it'll line up and kick itself off. This is like the most indirect of the scene where you have to like buy silvers first and buy sentry first. Often you just like open like procession like turn one all right two one my favor but again i want us player one this looks wild hey ho oh, oh my Hmm. I there's just there's a lot. <laughs> there's a whole lot. Oh goodness me. Okay, so we've got plus buy villa festival. Stone Mason can gain tons of stuff very easily, both the on buy and the on gain effect. Or the the on the on buy and the on play effect. There's no on gain effect. Trashing is junk dealer and I guess technically stone mason. Actions, Villa, Port, Festival, Draw, Wayfarer, Stables. Whew. So my thinking is Wayfarers seem... Well, so first things first, this is going to end in three piles. I don't, I don't know what's three piles, but it's going to end in three piles. Probably Villa, Wayfarer, Stonemason, if I had to guess. <sighs> but she's going to ramp up so fast. He has the 2-5, which is probably really good for him. Seems better than the three four probably. I can. I could open dungeon, stonemason for stonemason wayfarer. Is that ridiculous? I can't stonemason double wayfarer, can I? Same cuts the last two. Okay, let's check. Yes, I'm pretty sure the way this works is I buy stonemason. I first have to gain a two cost card, which would be Stonemason. And then Wayfarer becomes two, and the second card would be Wayfarer. Um, because I wouldn't have technically gained the Stonemason that I bought until after I resolved the one by effect. And so Wayfarer's cost will still be six for the first uh, choice of a two cost card. In any case, I think the first three should definitely be Dungeon. And I'm not sure what I do here. Uh, yeah, Junk Dealer looks really good. And the benefit of the Stone Mason thing is, like, Stone Mason is actually not bad here, because I could, like, Stone Mason Estate into Copper Wayfarer. What else am I buying if I don't buy that? Just, like, Silver? And then I get Junk Dealer and I'm just playing super late. I think I might try this. I would pay by two and gain a Wayfarer. We'll see how this goes. Like, I don't know, this kingdom just seems too explosive to do something slow, like dungeon silver. I think I just want to get like lots of wayfarers, buy some villas. A three pile will appear somewhere. Okay. So I can't play both of these. Definitely discarding one. I think I will do the thing I was describing where I gain copper, wayfarer, scouting party, probably, right? What's down there? I have two estates down there. 
Yeah. Let's scouting party that. I was hoping one of both the state to be on the top so I could discard both, but this is still fine, I think. Let's buy another Wayfarer. So I just want to go at least one copper. There's one copper. And that way I can buy a villa and continue my turn. Gain silver. I could stun mason for two villas. Is that better than just buying one villa? Maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't think I need two villas yet. I maybe shouldn't have drawn that far. That might have been a bad idea. Did I gain the silver? Maybe that's just a bunch of silvers down there, right? Three, yeah, I think all my silver is bottom decked. A little unfortunate. So I'm probably going to want to use Scouting Party again to try to salvage this turn. So I'll just gain that silver. Do I want that silver yet? Probably still. So I could buy Villa. Then stone mason one of these things and buy a scouting party. Um, or I could buy a scouting party by dungeon. I think I'd rather stone mason the estate. Probably. No, actually, I could, I could buy a scouting party by Wayfarer. If I do it the Villa way, I can top deck a Wayfarer. I like that better. Copper, Wayfarer. Doesn't matter whether I play this, I don't think. Scouting party. Done ordering. Buy another Wayfarer. That was turn four. Jesus. <laughs> this kingdom is absurd. Yeah, this is, this is just going to pile out. Gain of silver. I wonder if maybe now I should stun Mason for two villas. I might even just go for it this turn. I could take the second wayfarer now, maybe. Let's take the second villa. Okay, well, I, I missed. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Can he pile out? I don't think he has enough money to pile out yet. I might just buy the last two wayfarers. How much would it cost me to pile? So stone mason for two villas costs six, you get two back. So it costs four, eight, eleven to empty villas. And then you need like four more for stone masons or just some stone mason stuff. Uh, maybe he is at risk of three piling there if I don't do anything about it. Maybe I should just take a duchy. <laughs> it feels weird. We're, we're on turn five and I'm already like, piles are empty. <laughs> we need to score. Can he pile if I just touch two wayfarers? Yeah, I think the safe thing is to score. I've got a bunch of wayfarers coming up. <laughs> Turn five duchy is weird, but I think that's what we're doing. So what, what happened with this game? He did buy his junk dealer. He did Wayfarer. I'm not sure. Maybe I just got relatively lucky shuffles. I think 
think my turn three, turn four went relatively good for my overall deck quality. Okay, so <laughs> apparently the deck wasn't doing anything near what I was worrying that it might do. I maybe could have afforded to take the last two Wayfarers. I don't think he can afford to do that now. Peoples. Donald's back. Oh no wonder I'm, I'm I feel ahead this game. Donald X has returned. Uh, that clearly is the causal influence here on my ability to play well. Oh interesting. So he looks to be going for it. Have I seen all my silvers? I'm considering whether I should discard I'm definitely discarding state. I could discard copper to keep three wayfarers in hand, but I really need to hit four at least to buy villa to keep the turn alive. I haven't seen that many silvers, I think. One, two here. The question is, is it too risky? Let's see. If I don't gain four silvers, I feel like I gain more than that. Maybe I just, I don't know. Okay, so I've gained four total silvers. One of them was here. Two of, okay, maybe I have seen all my silvers. Oof. Yeah, I actually don't think I have the silvers coming out, so maybe I should discard this wayfarer to play it safe. Yeah, that was a close call. If I discarded the, the copper and got greedy, I wouldn't have been able to get the villa. Silvers. I don't know if that's right. Okay, pile out. Got a points lead. So, emptying villas requires I have. I have eight, right? That might not be quite enough. So, I. Uh, tricky, tricky, tricky. I think I might be a little bit short on money. That's one. So I, I stonemason for two villas. It cost me six. I get two back. I have, what, I have nine right now. So I'd be down to five. Then I couldn't stonemason for villas again. Yeah. Um, still a little bit short. So... Any other pile outs? Doesn't look like it. So I think I might just play this trash of copper and buy a province. Do I have a dungeon coming in? I don't. But I do have a big points lead. But he has a his deck starting to get under control. Good news is lowering villas for him is super risky. Hmm. So I could stone mason for two villas. I have seven right now. That would cost me four. Down to three. I mean, I could just, I, I phrase that wrong. Yeah, I could buy stone mason and gain two villas. I wanted him to get one more villa. Might just turn the silver into two estates and buy a duchy. Like I think I just want to keep the points that we're lowering piles. Like if if he buys any more villas, which he is, he's 
Really cutting it close here. Wonder if I took too many silvers. That's possible. I just I'm, a, I'm persistently a little too short on economy to pile. If he were to buy the last two villas and attempt to like deny me villas, I would just empty the stonemasons. I don't think he'll do that though. I think what he needs to do here is buy like at least one province. Oh, is he trying to empty it? Maybe he's trying to win here this turn. Does he have enough money for that? I thought I got more Wayfarers than I did. I was thinking I won the Wayfarer split, but we're actually even on Wayfarers. And where are all mine? Did I play them all already? One, two, three, four. I think I have one more down there in the very bottom. Maybe I should be using Scouting Party to set up this turn. That's possible. So if I stone mason for single villa, it costs me six to get one back. So I spent five and I've lowered piles. He'll probably pile out on me. I think he has enough to, to take like province stone mason's estate. So maybe I should just take duchy again and keep scoring. Yeah, there's my wayfarers. All right. <laughs> now we might be in business. This looks good. This looks really good. Gain that silver. Should I should check to see if I have a win in hand. Definitely involves playing the the villa. Stone mason that into no, it doesn't cost six right now. I can't stone mason into the villa. I'll take another silver, I guess. Now, what about now? I stone mason, yeah, stone mason duchy into villa stone mason looks like a win. There we go, got it. I was saying at the beginning that it's not like a friendly mixed kingdom because the friendly mixed tournament a it doesn't have any attacks which that one didn't but b the friendly mixed tournament was just very very three pile ish like the stonemason and villa were both in the friendly mixed tournament um card set i think wayfarer might have been in there actually no maybe it wasn't i don't know uh but a bunch of menagerie cards a bunch of pile out st style cards so that kingdom where it was just like three pile immediately felt very stonemason like <laughs> very well my words are are malfunctioning it felt very friendly mixed tournament like uh okay what are we doing here got action city draw council room vampire trashing butcher trashing this looks pretty strong what five do I want first? Counterfeit could trash coppers, butcher for a stage, vampire. Doesn't immediately trash, but you get two bats. Probably vampire is the best, I think. And cargo ship, I think. Mm, this is an all right hand. That's a pretty good hex to give out, I think. What five do I want? So Destry might actually not be bad. Take it like draw is not bad. Take a draw around the bat fast. Kind of feel it like 
If I get lucky and hit like his vampire or something, I'd be real happy. That's also not a bad knight. <laughs> I wasn't originally thinking about knights, but like maybe I seriously consider taking them. Ah, well, I, I got luckier with the, the hexes. The curse kind of hurts. The, the war actually proactively helped me. I have no cards costing three or four in my deck, except for Cargo Ship, which is in my hand, so it couldn't get hit. So all I did was uh, discard the two coppers from the top of my deck. But it's helpful, because I don't want to have two coppers top decked. Okay, so he takes the knight. I don't, Sir Michael's a pretty good knight, but I don't want it yet, because I'm over terminal. They've got three terminals and no villages. I think I'm going to take on the vampire here. Cargo ship that. a pretty good hand to see. Uh, well, I mean, I discarded his bat, which is kind of good, but it could have gone better. So I'm only playing three coppers because I want to trash two. Buying changeling is not ridiculous. Actually, it kind of is ridiculous, isn't it? It can't gain knights, it can't gain vampires, it can't gain bats. Don't. If I wanted a cargo ship, I could have gained it. So maybe just buy silver. Maybe I do buy a changeling and hope it lines up with whatever five cost to get off a vampire. Hmm. How much does silver help? Silver is actually kind of helpful because it helps me hit five. I'll take the silver. Counterfeit's not bad, but I do have two bats to feed, which might get rid of my coppers fast enough on their own. I might need a city, because I have a bunch of terminals. Well, actually, I only have two terminals. Hmm. And the city's basically like an expensive village. I don't know what I want. I kind of do want the city. Yeah. Oh, that's a gross hand. I mean, I, I should have known it was coming up. I, I, I could have figured out what my deck contents were. Ha ha ha, you've deluded me. You thought I could afford to buy action cards. In fact, I can't buy anything. So the fact that I am prohibited from buying action cards does not affect me whatsoever. Not a bad starting hand. Oh, that was... I was going to say I was really friendly to discard the two estates, but... I actually wouldn't have minded drawing those states because so, I could trash them with bat. It's still definitely not a bad scenario for me. All right, now I think I'm going to take changeling. Or I could consider just trashing two coppers. I think I'll take the changeling. And... Okay. So he has two vampires. So he got two bats and also went for counterfeit anyway. I could consider it. It's not a bad night to have. I'm going to take Michael. Yeah, that's a much worse night. I'm really happy with this because... So I've got two nights to one, which is good, because if like we play it out, one night will trash another night, and I'll be left with one night to hit zero, and I assume he won't want that to be the case. So he feels, I think, or will eventually feel more pressure to take the next knight. And Dame no Dame no, Dame Josephine is definitely uh, not one of the better knights. And so I'm happy if he's forced to take that. Yeah, Dame Josephine is about right. Because uh, you uh, want it very rarely. In fact, uh, Josephine's probably the, the worst knight, I would think, in general. But it does have four types. So like, if you had courtier around or something... Then all of a sudden, maybe it's a little bit good. Okay, so what do I have down here? I have my other knight down there, which I'm likely to draw. And I don't have my village, so I shouldn't add another terminal. Because I'll set aside some. Actually, I could changeling. I'm changing Fruit City. I could set that aside with cargo ship. Why, why would I? I don't need the city to be in that hand. Yeah, I think I should just, I should buy something that I want to have in a deck that's got like a 
have what all is down there? I think there's a like a vampire, a knight, and some cockroach for the most part. Oh, and some estates. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe I could take a no. I can't take a butcher because I can't play all that. Hmm. Not very much. I could take a baker. So play discard two things by playing a knight. I think I actually like that idea. Cargo ship. My thought process is, yeah, I was expecting him to discard two cards with his knight. And this means I'll be able to trigger this shuffle. As it turns out, he triggered the shuffle anyway, so maybe the baker wasn't necessary. But a lot of these cards are bad, like two estates and two coppers down here. And so the baker triggers that shuffle while still allowing me to play Sir Michael. I could I could have just taken a city, I guess. Would have also been fine. None of these knights have trashed anything particularly strong yet, right? Uh, like, yeah, I discarded nothing of value from him. He likewise did nothing to me. These have been some milk toast knights. Oh. Just another changeling, probably. Strong hex. Eh, it's an all white hex. So I've got two villages. I can add more draw now, I think. He got, he has a lot of trashers. Like, counterfeit's a really good card. A really good card. But, uh, you also are trashing a bunch with your bats. And I felt like, and like, one counterfeit I can see in RE before. Two just felt, oh, that's a lot. So, still nothing of value here. We trashed each other's knights, so kind of neutral. Um, and I discarded two of his coppers. This is abnormally bad luck, I think, for the both of us with these knights. I'm about to get yet another city off this changeling, so I can probably buy another draw card. Maybe more payload. I think I want a second council run. Take another city. Maybe a butcher. That's not a particularly significant um, hex, because you're going to trash that copper anyway. Makes no difference for bat purposes whether it's a curse or a copper. Maybe it means we can't use counterfeit on it, on it and it hurts slightly. Okay, so I would like to draw me. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um... Yeah, like literally nothing has been trashed by the knights, I think, except for the other knights. Yeah, like the, the flipping bat's not nothing, but I'm also flipping like junk alongside it. I'm not really sure whether that hurts. Maybe it hurts him a little bit. Um, but it's certainly weird that our decks are like full of five cost cards, and neither of our knights has hit a single five cost card, except for the other knight. I think he's probably gotten the the worst luck in the hexes. Like famine is actually this is, yeah this is nothing at all. Um, my my hexes have been like kind of weak, but like definitely better than his. Okay, down there is I know it's down there. It's a copper on a state. <laughs> uh, do I want to bother trying to draw that? It does mean my bat can trash two estates. I probably do. Yeah, this does draw him a card though. But I can maybe find my vampire. Or a changeling. Oh, all the changelings are in the trash already. If I play cargo ship, if I have two bad cards on top, I really don't want to leave there. But I do get to 
set a third set a card aside. I think I want to draw. Nah, that was mediocre, but I'm not sure what I expected. I think I'll buy Changeling. I get to trash two estates, and I, well, I was going to say I get a better starting hand, but <laughs> this is not necessarily the best starting hand. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is a good starting hand now. <laughs> that was a very helpful uh, council room. A city is exactly the card I needed. Okay. Trashing a silver, like it's not nothing. Silver's better than nothing, I think. But it's it's not uh, not a card I'm that worried about uh, losing. What's the score right now? Is it three one? We definitely went one one in the first two games. That was I won the bridge troll game. Then he won the. The Shepherd game. I won the Wayfarer game. I think, oh, and I won the Liberty game. Yeah, it's three one right now. So if I win this, I, I win the the whole shebang. I'll win the match, and at least thirty bucks. So I feel like I'm in the lead here. I think my odds are looking pretty good. Honestly. I feel like a lot of these games sort of feel like they've been kind of determined by draw luck one way or the other. Well, mostly my way, but occasionally his way. Like, even even the game I lost, like, I felt like I misplayed the end game, but I feel like I was probably going to lose even if I didn't misplay the end game. And then, like, my luck hasn't been amazing here, but his luck seems to have been quite bad. <laughs> um, this doesn't feel like it was... No, well, actually, I take the back. The, the livery game, it really feels like he misplayed. I think that's the one I'll say I think, I think he botched. But a lot of these, I feel like I was just sort of fated to win in a way that wasn't really me out playing them or anything. Oh, here we go. All right, get him, Sir Wrangle. <laughs> Got the trashy counselor and that's something. I don't think I trash anything here. Like turning a state copper into state is not helpful. Oh, this is not trash. So I could buy a three cost and trash two coppers, or I could buy a five cost and trash one copper. I kind of like the idea of putting a five cost directly into the deck. And I'm already pretty thin. So what am I buying? I kind of like the idea of de denying him cities at this point. It's just the one, right? J, J, S. Or maybe it's two. J, S. Oh, it's three. Oh. He has a lot more cities than I thought he did. Never mind. Okay. Well. Yeah, I still think I might want to take these cities. They're going to get really good really soon. A lot of terminals you can do stuff with. You can't do that without villages. And I worry that some of the villages are going to get trashed by the knights, mine or his. And so I think it'll be helpful if I can start from the cities. I'd like to win the split 6 4. This is a decent argument, I guess, for counterfeit is even if it gets useless, you can butcher it in another 5 cost later. Maybe that wasn't so bad.
Interesting. So I guess the thing he was of the top deck, I think. Does it matter? Probably not. Uh, he has two vampires, right? I think it's him who has two vampires, because I have a bat. So I guess, what's that last hex? I think it might be poverty. Yeah, I think that might be vampire in his hand. I think it might get hit by poverty. So maybe I shouldn't top deck the copper. I'd rather keep the copper in my hand so I can discard it. So I'll top deck the cargo ship. That's the word. OK, well, it turns out he didn't have the vampire in hand anyway. So it is irrelevant. Now, if it was like locusts or something le uh, left, I would really want to top deck the copper so that the locust trashes the card I already didn't care about. This is going to be kind of nice. I get to a uh, council room and I make him discard again. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. I'm looking forward to doing this. I should probably play my butcher first, though. <laughs> hmm. I don't really need this baker anymore, do I? Maybe I play the baker and then turn a copper into a chains. Mm. That's kind of nice. Get him some Michael. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Council room plus a discard attack, which just feels really nice because you draw a bunch of cards and you're like, actually, psych. <laughs> okay, just... All right, that's, that's the match, right? GG's. Okay. Um, that was a per particularly pernicious way to finish it off. A lot of attacks going in that kingdom. All right, so I, oh, I gotta refresh this. I advance to the winner's bracket finals. Let's see who I'm playing. All right, I, I play the winner of the Germans, E Honda and Psychomatic. Uh, I've played both of them. I, pl I played E Honda in, um, in League. He was the one person I didn't take a big bet L2. Uh, Actually, no, I, I, I tied versus Warfight. He's the only person I beat um, in league this season. I, I didn't have the best league season, but I beat E Honda for 4.5 to 1.5. Psychomatic, I haven't played in ages. I played him way back when in the uh, the World Championship thing last year. I beat him in quarter, octafinals. But he's, he's quite good. I, both of them look very hard competitors. Uh, but if I win that, then I'm at least guaranteed 50 bucks. And then if I win the next game, I'm, I win 120. The whole shebang. Uh, yeah, this is, well, uh, I'm winning at least 30 bucks. I'm very happy with that.